Uh, when it comes to universal machine control, it's relatively simple. Uh, you get your normal components from whoever your supplier is. Often those include masks, they include a junction box, they also include a sensor on the blade. Uh, they almost always have a power, uh, a power supply that goes in the back of the machine and then your display and your wiring harnesses. Universal Machine Control basically said what is the central point of each of those systems to help them communicate and anything that was central to each of those systems we made it universal. So one good example of that for instance is our mast uh, mounts here. These mast mounts we built in uh, mounting holes for all three of the major North American suppliers. Uh, that allows you to take either a Leica or Topcon or Trimble system and mount your mast right onto this universal mounting. You put your bolts in and you're complete on the mast installation. Now if I wanted to switch that to another manufacturer, uh, take those out, put my new mast on, and it bolts on the same plate. The other nice thing with universal machine control is we understand that each manufacturer has their own type of uh, sensor that goes on the back of the blade. Um, the sensor can be used for 2D or to help calibrate the 3D systems. We built in a universal sensor mounting plate on the back of the dozer blade, and now this allows for any of the three major North American uh, machine control manufacturing systems to be mounted onto the blade. Uh, a couple of bolts and this moves around a little bit enabling all three systems to work on the single, uh, single one mount. Other components within universal machine control, uh, typically you're going to have a junction box which goes up on top of the uh, engine enclosure and you have a simple pigtail. Uh, this allows the communication path from the universal harness to the mass of whichever your uh, system manufacturer is. And then this pigtail enables the display to actually communicate with the wiring harness. So if you buy Universal and then you decide to finish the kit out with whether it be Topcon, Trimble, or Leica, um, this is the pigtail that actually helps communicate with the display. Uh, the rest of it, there's no unbolting or bolting in or pulling out wiring harnesses or rerouting anything. All that is universal. Whether it be Leica, Topcon, or Trimble, they always are going to have a communication box and a power, dis or a power supply. Um, we've made the mount for their bracket for those components universal within the case construction dozer. So again, you buy the system, whichever manufacturer that you uh, d decide upon, and uh, we no longer require you to do any changes on the actual dozer. Uh, a couple bolts here, moving this, and uh, you're off and running. Okay, and the final consideration when it comes to outfitting a dozer with machine control is your antennas on top of the cab and your display in the cab. Again, the pigtail makes it easy for our universal wiring harness to finish the connection with the display. And then again, we have the antenna mounts on top of the cab, which uh, makes it easy to add the antenna from whichever manufacturer you decide. Uh, so even if you wanted to change the system over after you had already outfitted it with one of the systems, it's as simple as unbolting your display, changing out the pigtail, and changing out your other components, and you're off and running. No need to go back to the shop, no need to pull out wiring harnesses, and no need for any welding.